Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I draw a logo and I made this one vectorized. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So at first, uh, going to the file and taking new artboard which is uh, 2000 pixel, 2000 pixel and making it RGB. Just because of I want to make this one web publishing like Dribble, Behance, whatever it is and giving the name box logo and hit the create button you'll getting the square shape and artboard which is and going to the place embedded options and here i just draw that logo at first in my notebook and i just imported this one in this in this illustrator okay taking this one after that uh, right press or double press this one deem this one 50 percent and hit okay after that just lock it up and take a new layer upper side of this one i'll draw another one and i'll work with that going to the pen tool from here press p from the keyboard you can get the pen tool or you can get the line tool from here you can draw the line like that and you can make the line like that but i'll prefer you to use the pen tool so select once and before that you have to make this one stroke not the fill color and i'll take the stroke like uh, red or other stuffs it will help you out to recognize how i'll work okay just draw the line accordingly what you have drawing and like this actually this one is fun when you are drawing this one it will be nice and amazing and this one is uh, amazing if you give this one into vectorized form press p again and drawing the eyes like that press alter option button divide the path and do like that okay that's good and now uh, providing the shadow like this Press P again and select once here. Here, press Ultra Option button. Press like this from here. And rest of the thing I'll do like that. Just because of I want to cut this one by using the Shape Builders tool. Select these two things. Shift M, Shape Builders tools press alter option button delete this portion and you can give color over here suppose in case i would use this one this color okay here another shadow press p from the keyboard and i'll provide the shadow like this like this and like this this and you can make this one more creative if you want so like that and that okay let's view from the from the keyboard and select all the stuffs shift m for the shape builder tool and deleting only this portion the shape just giving this one okay i and giving the color now here the color uh, actually this one i'll provide another color for the recognition this type of color and the eyes color to this one i'll provide it the red color okay nice now this one is our main logo and we'll work with the like shadow and highlight other steps so turning off this window and i'll work actually in this layer okay fine going to the square shape making the square like this giving the color like dark black and sending into the last layer of this main layer okay i'll use a gradient color for coloring going to this layer actually i'll take this one and just paste over here right press and ungroup this one so the lower shadow press i from the color uh, picker and uh, from the keyboard if you press the i you will get the color from here and this one i will get the color like that and this one i will take the color like that 
okay that's fine and now here i'll make this one white color okay actually white from here that's good now time to add the shadow so this shadow going to the effects option going to the styles and drop shadow and hit okay this one see uh, going to the effects styles drop shadow hit okay and this one effects styles and drop shadow and hit okay so you're getting the shadow from here and you can shadow provide the shadow like this so from here select this one from the effects styles and drop shadow okay and hit okay so you're getting the 3d look which is really good and you can change the gradient like that so one thing is that you can cut it up uh, it will help you out actually this one this one and this one press shift m and minus this one okay but one thing is that uh, before cut it out you can just make a copy controller command c and select these two things minus this one and controller command v or controller command f and making it to the down layer just press the shift and this like to this okay the last layer we just send it out and now you're getting these things okay your logo is ready now going to the text tool and drawing or writing something like this my fox logo okay giving this one into white color from here okay that's fine and making it bigger if you need and just roboto font that's good and making it white and my fox and logo my fox i'll make this one thin font going to the on options and making it thin making it more smaller actually and giving the gap between two letters like 200 and making it into the middle of the okay you are getting the logo like this so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am is signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye